As I said at the top of the show, the federal budget and all its handouts dominated this week's disappointing political news. We're here to have a chat about that and some other things. You know, this New South Wales Liberal Democrat, John Ruddick. John, great to have you back on the show. What was your overall take on this budget? OK, well, look, the, uh, the federal government has taken about $670 billion off the Australian people in the last year, and they've only spent just a fraction less than that. OK, so that's a, a surplus, OK, and that's a good thing. OK, but we can mainly thank, not good government policy, we can mainly thank good old commodity prices, coal, gas and iron ore, and bracket creep. OK, now, but I do want to say something a little bit positive about the government. This is not, so far, the Albanese Chalmers government is not Gough Whitlam and it's not Kevin Rudd in terms of their big, grandiose spending programs. That's good. Uh, it's certainly not as good as Hawke Keating. So as far as Labor budgets go, you know, it's probably a two out of five. It's really an extension of ScoMo. I mean, he, he didn't do it. He didn't, have, didn't roll up his sleeve to, to work out budget repair. But there is a ticking time bomb in this uh, budget and that is the NDIS. Now, it's quite staggering. You know, when this uh, scheme first came along, it was costing us about $4 billion a year. Corey, it's on its way to $50 billion a year. There's, there's now over half a million Australians on the NDIS, and it's growing massively. Now, this is not um, helping people with disabilities uh, with their medical issues. This is... Uh, it's like the world's most generous scheme for people with disabilities. This is funding people with disabilities to go to the movies or to a restaurant or have a cleaner to come around and clean their house, OK? Now, this is way too generous and it's being exploited. It certainly is being exploited. John, I, I was quite complimentary about Peter Dutton's uh, budget address in reply. What did you make of it? Well, you know, the, look, look, Peter Dutton, you know, on balance, he's a pretty good bloke. I like him more than I liked Scott Morrison, OK? But he does have a real star on his front bench, and that's called Angus Taylor. And, uh, you know, I wish uh, Peter Dutton would let uh, Angus Taylor have a little bit more limelight, because, I mean, this is a guy... We should have a lot more Angus Taylors in Parliament. He's a guy that was a very successful person in the corporate sector, OK? So, now, I was disappointed with the Coalition because they're saying, oh, it's terrible, all this inflation. It's just terrible. It's, and it's all Labor's fault. No, 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 no. This inflation was caused by the overreaction to COVID. Paying people to stay home. You know, here's, here's hundreds of billions of dollars. It's like ScoMo uh, and Josh flew a plane across Australia and they just threw out, you know, millions of dollars out, out the window. Throw, throw it That's what's caused the inflation. It's certainly not, not the Iraq, Iraq war. It, now, I, and they, they didn't... The thing, here's the thing, though, John... Yeah, sorry, here's the thing. The government has baked in this still the same payment. They've put it all up. They've said we're happy with a hundred with a million people on uh, on the dole, four or five million in disability benefits. It's crazy. The country can't afford it, can it? Uh, no, well this this is the worry that I have. What if we actually and it's young, a lot of people say it's gonna happen, we're gonna have a recession at some point. It might be sooner rather than later. So when when the when the, the, the money is coming into the government, we should be squirreling it away. So that if there is, you know, a, yeah, I, you'd remember that this, this, when, when I was like, when I left school, there was about 10, 11, 12 percent unemployment. It was a bit of a crisis. Now, we've been very lucky in the last 30 years where we haven't had that, but it's going to happen at some point. OK, and it often happens, you know, there's often a recession just after uh, unemployment hits uh, uh, you know, historic lows, which, which it's at right now. We have kicked the can. I'm not just talking about Australia. I'm talking about the entire Western world. We have kicked the can down the road on two occasions in the last 15 years. When the global financial crisis happened, governments all around the world, but particularly in North America, North America and in Europe, they bailed out these dodgy banks. Now, they should have just let... The, and it happened a bit in this country. They should have let those dodgy banks crash. And if that had, have, had have happened there would have been a sharper recession. OK, but what they decided to do, for yeah, political I, reasons... I, I agree with you. Yes. What they yeah, decided they to the do was... the can down the road so that someone they, else has to deal with it. That's right.